The NFL regular season kickoff spectacle that's happening tonight down in Champa Bay. Banners will fly. Ed Sheeran will sell $50 t-shirts and put on an incredible performance. And Tom Brady in the Seems to be unstoppable Buccaneers. Yep. We'll play host to Dak Prescott, Big Mike McCarthy, and the Dallas Cowboys. It's a beautiful day. We have some breaking news, A.J. Hawk. What happened? We let off this show stating that when the line moved to 8.5 from 7.5 to 8 to 8.5, it was at minus 105. We learned about this with the juice being at 105. Normally, it'll go all the way to 120 before it moves another half a point. You've got to remember that sports books are just trying to get somewhere near 50-50 on either side. That line has moved since this show has started to minus 9.5 for the Buccaneers Whoa. tonight. Minus 9.5 at minus 102 if you want to hammer the Buccaneers, or if if you would like to get a bet in on the Buccaneers before tonight's game, you got a fan duel in my super boost is minus nine and a half for plus 150. Yes. Good. Legitimately, wow. the first super boost of the season is the same as the actual spread. It was supposed to be an alternate spread, and we got odds at plus 150 when everybody else is at minus 102. That thing could continue to move, by the way, as people continue to hammer in on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If you liked eight and a half, I don't know how you don't like nine and a half, yep. and I assume that's what the sports books were seeing in the betting. We can get it as a super boost on FanDuel plus 150. This is a big deal. Who knows if it's going to continue to move? That was a quick jump, AJ. That was a very yeah. quick jump by the sports books. Yeah, so I mean, people feel really good about the, the Bucks' chances of covering, right? Well, I've only seen something like this happen, you know, just a few months ago. Oh, that's right. And I think it was, you know, just like Shopify just fucking crashed or whatever. It just oh, so man. happened to crash today. Uh, there was a draft day where uh, we were leading into our draft spectacular, our annual event that we absolutely love, where we talk about a lot of players we know nothing about, but we celebrate the yeah. fact that teams are potentially getting better or on the spot reactions, oh, they got worse or whatever. We had a little piece of information that was told to us, like, hey, Matt Jones ain't going to the Niners at three or whatever. So we let off the show with saying, yeah. We've been talking about it for two and a half months now at this point. And Mac Jones going to San Francisco 49ers. Our intel is telling us it ain't Mac Jones. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, by the way, as soon as those words came out of our mouths and there was other people that said that they said it as well, obviously. Of course you did. And there's other sales probably happening on Shopify. Of course. And what was that platform that we moved? Anchor. Right? Anchor. Of course. There was probably other podcasts that were doing great. Mm -hmm. there. That thing crashed our first day over there, whatever the case is. But that line moved very quickly. Yeah. What do they know? You know, what does yes. the sports book know? Is it because the people that I've put up a good pitch, like, hey, if you like eight and a half, you like nine and a half, and we've getting a lot of people betting on Tampa, or everybody else is feeling the same exact way we are, it just so happens to be coincidence? Or is there maybe a piece of information that's coming out game day of game, which could happen this season, especially with everything popping off with COVID protocol? Diggs, your thoughts on the line moving this quickly? This is kind of your world? Yeah, that the Mac and that was definitely information driven. And then they didn't want to get caught with their pants down and lose a bunch of money. The line normally moves for a few reasons. The respected money comes in on guys that they know are very good at gambling. Shops. 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 Yeah. Not sharks. Like, baby shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. What we're talking about is a big whale, which is a big sharp. Do, 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 do. Big sharp. Do, 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 do. That's a P at the end. That's a, when the sharps come in. Normally, sports books do react. Oh, like Warren. And you talked about it. No, nah, nah, uh, it's Warren Sharp. He is a sharp, but that's when it comes to analytics. I'm not sure he has Warren moved into sharp. the. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm not sure he's moved into the do, 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 do thing for. Also, we had something yesterday with chemistry with the science teacher, and I think I either didn't hear it or we talked over it. I mean, Zito has some fastballs back there while <laughs> spinning 10 different plates, but th this could be the sharps coming in late, right? That's what this it could, could be. could be that. I don't think it's that. I think it's you referenced it or talked about it just a couple minutes ago. The book likes to have 50% of the money on each team so that no matter the outcome of the game, no matter who covers, they get to collect the juice that we have to pay to bet at their sports book. The Oh, the, five that it is right minus now, minus 105, the minus 115, whatever the case, because that's a rake basically so for those that are card players. So they don't have liability. My guess is, Pat, you let off the show talking about it. We've been, you've been beating the drum for the last two days. I assume there is an outpour of money coming in on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So 
to get more people to bet on the Dallas Cowboys, they have to make the line more appealing for the Cowboys until they try to get as close to 50%. So, as possible. quick question Are we then sharps? Do, 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 do. Are we sharps? Do, 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 do. Are we sharps? Do, 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 do. Are we sharps? I think we're sharp. I think we're sharp. I think we're sharp. We might be sharps. We'll know tomorrow. Uh, we'll find out, and they might take us off the list too. Yeah. Hey, how many guys? Uh, make that? That? Who, who does the line though? I want to know. You know all the FanDuel people. You have a great relationship. Is there like one person that gets so, to change the line? Or there's a he- there's a head guy. There's algorithms. There's a lot of shit. It, the the head booker has actually come on, hammered down numerous oh, times. Computers. He. There's, there's person, there's people that take over it. There's people that have to use their brains to do it. There's computers that, that will show them, obviously, where the liability is and what they should do. It's, it's a whole process.